ladies. Hello. It is a new day of boat work. Woohoo! Yay! So today we have a couple main things we're trying to get done. One is we're going to do some painting up there in Molly's cabin. And we're also going to be installing what's called an Orion DC DC charger. I don't want to wait another moment. Those are the main things on the to-do list for today. Yep. So let's do those things. There's going to be some electronics going on in here and it's going to generate some heat. So we need a way to vent this cabinet. So we're going to be venting the heat into the engine room from the cab, the uh, forward cabin here, the uh, salon. So we got to cut some big holes in these, uh, these walls of this cabinet. And there's nobody who is more anxious to cut some enormous holes in the cabinet than Tambi. And also Molly. <laughs> All right, you want to cut some huge holes? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, all right, ladies, here we go. <laughs> yeah! Okay, drill the large hole, Molly. Go. Where? Just, just anywhere. Just biggest place. It's not important. Not there. Not there. <laughs> All right, here we are inside the engine room. Molly has her large destructive uh, drill bit there, and the place we're going to be drilling the hole is right. <laughs> So Molly just drilled an enormous hole right there. Now Tambi's going to drill an enormous hole right here. And that way it's going to pull most of the ventilation directly across the electronics to help keep those cool. And then finally we're going to put another hole down here just as an extra uh, ventilation point. Unfortunately, one thing we just realized is that our battery charger has bow, 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 died. Tambi left it out in the rain. Who left it out in the rain? Tamby did. Who left it out in I the rain? think it was pro maybe Molly left really? it out in the rain. Yeah. Listen, it's not important who left it out in the rain. The you the No, the no, what's Jesus. important? You Listen. No, no, no. Now that everybody is calm, <laughs> we realized that we're going to have to go get a battery charger. You left it out no, no, no. All right, Tamby's going to see how far we can get on these two partially uh, charged batteries. She's getting into position. Oh, she's bracing herself. Wow, she's okay. She's obviously done this before. Hmm. I can't. <laughs> Maybe not. T-Bone, install that uh, Orion charger, okay? Okay. I'll go ahead and hop in there, T-Bird. I need my cushion. Is there anything you need there, sweet tea? Yes. My cushion? Hmm. Huh? My cushion. Cushion. Where is your cushion, T-Rex? Okay. All right. <laughs> there you go. It's a so while we were on all this, uh, this run of words, sweet tea, T-Bone, T-Rex, all this stuff, Molly came up with the idea, pterodactyl. We tried to explain to her that it doesn't work because pterodactyl actually starts with a uh, P. P. That's right. P. Yeah. Ta. N no. P. No, it's pterodactyl, Molly. Like pneumonia. Yeah. Nobody says. Nobody says pneumonia. Because <laughs> the P is silent. Because I don't know what goober came up. The English language is weird. It is so stinking weird. So it's not your fault, Molly. It is. Try teaching it. Yeah. Teaching, yeah, I can't imagine teaching English. Gosh, English is such a strange language because it has words like pterodactyl and pneumonia. The 
Ryan is installed. And now I am gonna work on getting the wiring run to it. And the wiring has to run from the starter battery along this wall and out a hole over there that goes to that cabinet. And I also need to put a breaker in line right here somewhere. So that's what I'm working on. And just like that, it's installed, folks. Simple as that. Now that is called the smack installation. That is a uh, an obscure technique, only taught by a couple different schools. Uh, the one I went to is called Hogwarts. Girls are right, it is kind of cozy in here. Alright, so I just wrapped up the installation of the Orion pretty much the same time the ladies wrapped up the installation of the paint. You know what I mean. Uh, one thing that I am lacking, I do have to put a fuse between the DC-DC charger and the batteries. I am missing that at the moment. Uh, but other than that, everything, I believe everything is wired up and in place. So, let's go check out what the ladies have done up here. Oh yeah! Look at that, all nice and bright and white. They painted that triangle up there. Man, that's looking good, ladies. Looking nice. Thank you. Are you happy with that, Molly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, making a little progress on your cabin? Yep. All right, Molly has a joke that she wants to uh, tell everybody. So what is your joke, Molly? What do you call a pile of kittens? A pile or a really, really big pile? A really, really big pile. Okay. What do you call it? A mountain. A what? A mountain. A mountain? Uh-huh. Hmm. Gotcha. I have one more. Alright, what's your other one? What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish with no eyes. Hmm. What? So now that we have this stuff installed, it is time to work on the ventilation in this cabinet. So this is the fan we're going with. This is a brushless fan. It draws half an amp. It is 12 volt powered and I can set it up on a little PMW speed controller so I can, you know, adjust the speed however we want it. And then there's another neat little gadget we're going to put uh, in line with this fan that's going to basically automate the cooling of this cabinet. fan is installed back there so now it's time to install what is going to be the heart of this ventilation cabinet here this is a thermal switch so there's the little thermal switches home now I got to run some power to it So the thermal switch is installed. It's wired up. The wiring of this thing is a little finicky just because the wires are so itty bitty. And there is still some work to do with, you know, cleaning up the wires and such as that. But I wanted to demonstrate how this works. So the sensor for this switch is over here right now and it'll probably remain somewhere in this general area. 
but right now I have it programmed to turn on at 85 degrees. Obviously, I, th I think we're going to set it for something more like 95 or 100 when we're actually using it, but I need to have it set in this way to uh, demonstrate. So if I just grab the, uh, the sensor here, you'll see the temperature on top begin to climb, and when it reaches 85, the fan turns on. It starts venting out the cabinet. And then, you know, it's going to be drawing cool air from this side, pulling across these uh, devices that are generating heat. And then it's going to cool the cabinet down. And as you can see, when it crosses that threshold again, then the fan should turn off. Just like that. That's the general idea. And again, you know, we've got some tidying up to do down here with the wires. I need to get this uh, little temperature sensor mounted in a more secure way. And I do need to get a breaker installed on the positive output that is coming from this DC DC charger. All right, the Admiral is about to install that uh, round louver thing over this humongous hole that we drilled. That should make it look a lot better, huh, baby? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready, Molly? Yep. All right, go for it. Good job, Molly. Now we are actually going to try to test the uh, the DC DC charger over there that we just installed. Now the tricky part about that is that it is set up to automatically turn on when the engine is running. Otherwise, when it senses a high voltage from the alternator, just the steady resting voltage of the starter battery is not enough to turn it on. So. What we're going to do is uh, I have a charger that I'm going to wire into the starter battery, try to give it that higher voltage and see if that'll basically make it turn on. I just want to see a light come on or something just to, you know, just to confirm that that thing is working. So we're going to give this a shot. Okay. What? Do you doubt me? No. You do! <laughs> so here's the charger down here. I've got it just wired directly up to the start battery. Right there with some little mini jumper cables. I'm about to plug it in. Like so. I got this thing charging. 14.4 volts going into this starter battery. But I forgot to turn on the breaker going to the Orion. Now it's getting juice. All right. It's doing something, folks. All right. So this guy is putting out... 13 volts right now. Okay, that's cool. So it is actually working. Uh, I do not have a amp clamp or a shunt installed on this lithium battery bank. So just seeing this little green light and uh, seeing the voltage is going to have to do for now. All your covers. Molly is fixing her covers. Turning on her fan, both fans. She has two fans, but then she also says she gets cold, so I'm not sure why she has two fans. <laughs> okay. Give me a kiss. I love you. Love you. Sleep good, okay? Okay. Mm, turtle. Lights. 